Maybe, yes, I have a problem. Hi, hi, hello everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that you are safe and doing well. Today, I have this rainbow cart that I just built yesterday because I am going to be organizing my hair club collection. So I do already have a spot for them. It is this box. Oh my gosh, it's so <laughs> okay, it is this box right here in my hands. I had them all organized in rainbow order, but I have reached a point where it is uh, overflowing <laughs> and it's kind of hard to like look through everything because it's like just too filled to the brim. Now this box over here, it is marketed as like a photo photo a photo fo wow, I can't speak. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is marketed as a photo uh, storage sort of thing. Yes. And before I got this, I used to store my hair clips in like this caboodle, caboodle thing right over here. Uh, but yeah, I transitioned to this. As you can see here on this blue one, it's sort of just falling apart. So I was like, you know what? Why don't I just get a bigger storage space for my hair clips? I know my friend Colin, Atomic Laundry, he did something similar a while back. He organized his accessories in one of these kinds of drawers. So I was super inspired by that. But before I start organizing everything, I just want to talk a little bit about this thing called overconsumption. So it can be really easy for things to get over the top with a fashion that's meant to be over the top. You know, you're decorating yourself from head to toe with less layers and layers and layers of clothing and accessories. So then you just start collecting tons of clothing and accessories. And there is this term called retail therapy where if you are like me and you're having a bad day and you're like, you know what? Treat yourself. Someone left a mean comment on your post? Treat yourself. You finally wash the dishes after it's sitting there for two freaking weeks straight. Treat yourself. But I think there comes a point when you're just sitting in your room and you look around and you're like, mm, maybe this is a little too much. Maybe, yes, I have a problem. I think for myself personally, I'm still trying to figure out how to participate in this over the top fashion in a sustainable manner. And I don't wanna be all preachy, but I think it's important for us to reflect, especially since it's the end of the year and I get really reflecty around this time of year. And I kind of think about, you know, how I want to be better next year. And this is one of those things that I want to personally work on. When I was younger and would read books all the time, I remember reading the Confessions of a Shopaholic book series and then the movie as well. And recently on TikTok, I saw someone talking about first-gen immigrants and shopping addictions. You know, growing up, you didn't have a lot of money. You couldn't just buy anything that you wanted and now you are an adult and you have adult money so you just buy whatever you want you treat yourself whenever you want you know you buy things that you wanted when you were younger and it's sort of like healing your inner child i feel like this is a very important issue that i would like to talk about in a future video just dedicated to it like overconsumption and J fashion. For now though, I would like to recommend my friend the Cora Maria's blog, which I'll link down below. There is a post titled five sustainable tips for decor of fashion. Their blog is a really great resource if you're wanting to look into how to stay sustainable even while participating in kawaii fashion. And at some point I would like to look through all of my things and do a like declutter closet clean out sort of deal. But as a start, let us go ahead and organize these hair clips. Yeah! <laughs> all right, let's get to organizing. So here is the box, as you can see. We've got every color of the rainbow and this part is just like, I chuck all of the, uh, the, the ones that are too big right over here. Red, pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, and then this is like miscellaneous and then purple. And then I've got, this one is just all rainbow and then a bunch of like the bigger ones on these two. For example, this is red. So all of the red ones. So while I was building this last night, I was kind of thinking like, okay, how am I going to organize this? Cause there's two pinks and two, gr well, hold on. Yeah, two greens and then two blues. So what I'm going to do is I'll have rainbow and then pink, red, orange, yellow, green. Uh, wait, what did I decide? <laughs> hold on. Um, one for miscellaneous and then, uh, 
Okay, we'll see. We'll, we'll start with the rest and then we'll see how it goes from there. Okay, rainbow box. So, let's go ahead and wah. Put all this in there. Oh my gosh, so much easier to like look through all of the hair clips that I have. Ah, oh, bless. So let me now give y'all a little hair clip tour. Um, right here at the top, all of my rainbow hair clips. And then all the pink ones. The red, not as many as the pink. And then orange, also not so many. I've also got the yellow ones, green. And then what I decided for this one right over here, it's just like miscellaneous. So if they're in like groups or hair ties, uh, yeah, just like various miscellaneous ones. And this one is for the black and white hair clips. So I don't really have a lot. Oh, oh yeah, this is a ring, but um, we'll work on this. And then all of the blue ones and all of the purple. <gasps> all right, I think what I want to do is just a speed run and try to like identify all of the brands um, that I can remember. <laughs> sort of just to give you all some suggestions of places to look for hair clips. All right, this one and this one. These are both 6% Doki Doki. This is Yoshida Beads. This one is GT... God, oh, sorry. <laughs> I think this is GTY. So, something with GTY. I'll, I'll put the name like right over here. This one, I remember buying it from an anime convention. One of my friends who unfortunately doesn't have a shop anymore. It is a hair clip and also doubles as a, a pin. This dollar store. This, oh gosh, was it Walmart or something? I know this is like a Jojo bow. Like Jojo, Jojo Siwa. This is Critter Clips. This one right here I made myself with some stretchy string and a hair clip. I have a tutorial for that. Oh no, it's broken! No! Where's the back? These are yokai candy. This one was a regular choice. Friend, Aliyah Angel. I'll have their shop name right here. This one also 6% Doki. 6% ah, Doki Doki. This is Miss Alphabet. Dollar Store, Dollar Tree. Chunks. Ah! Dollar Tree! Oh my gosh, this is very, very nostalgic. One of my favorite hair clips from the uh, Dollar Store Decora video that I did many, many years ago. I want to try and do sort of another challenge, maybe this time Daiso. This one and this one was from a shop called Hello Shisho. Unfortunately, the shop is no longer around. Sad face. Ah, this was from a toy store here in Austin. Um, gosh. Was it Toy Joy or there's another one, Terra Toys? I can't remember. Either one of those. Toy stores have a lot of really great hair clips. Gosh, oh my gosh, my brain is so tiny. I can't remember things. <laughs> Angel Blue, bought from Mercari Japan secondhand. Also Critter Clips. This one, pretty sure it's Claire's. Yokai Candy. Ah, Eglian Creations. I think this one was from AliExpress. I think this was just me looking up like hair clips on Mercari Japan and I was like whoa that's really sick Usahana so I got this from Mercari Japan but the Sanrio store also sells like lots of character hair clips like for example 
Therapy. So, got this and this from the Sanrio online website. Japan LA also has like some of the Sanrio stuff. Also, Chunks. This was a collaboration with a really awesome artist. Got this from a local artist in Arizona while I was vending at, I think it was the Pride thing in Mesa. This is from Shop Solani. Really, they've got like really cool like cyber kind of stuff. I'll get it! Also, Sanrio online shop. And look, it's like a place for you to keep your bobby pins in. I'm just like, nope, connected. Connected. Ooh, this one is from Kawaii Goods. I think this was from Taobao. If I'm not, if I, I hope I'm remembering it. I hope I am remembering it right. I think this was from Taobao. Ah, it's so nice to just be able to like rummage my hand through everything. And I feel like everything's just like I can see everything and I can touch everything. So it's a lot easier for me to organize before and after. Cause after I just like shove all my hair clips off and then now I can just like boop, 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 put them into all of their different compartments. So recommend this if anybody is thinking of ways to organize all their accessories. So, you know, not just hair clips, you could put like bracelets and necklaces and all sorts of stuff in one of these kinds of drawers if you collect a lot of them. I'm very happy with how this hair clip drawer turned out. Thank you so much for organizing them with me and for watching this video all the way through. If you enjoyed it, it'll help me out a lot if you give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I post whenever I have new videos or whenever I am heading to a new event wherever in my socials link down below. But yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Hope you have a great week. Please take care and bye bye. <laughs> no bracelets to make clack clack sounds with.